also following the primary, of course, between Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee and challenger Amanda Edwards. Jackson Lee survived and will be on the ballot in November. That's correct. And so we're going to check in right now with Sheila Jackson Lee's campaign. We're going to take a live look. Uh, I believe she's talking at the podium right now, so we'll listen in for just a moment. I want to thank the men and women of HPD. I appreciate my law enforcement friends. And I also want to thank the mothers and those who are seeking justice under the criminal justice system. I will let you know, Kathy Buford Daniels, you stood with me against gun violence. I want these mothers to know I'm still going to fight for criminal justice and for fairness to them and their families. We're still going to stand up for the fight. Thank you. Thank you all so very much. Thank you to the port. Thank you to everyone. Thank you, my brother, my African friends. Uh, thank you. And thank you just you heard there uh, Sheila Jackson Lee addressing her supporters. And we do have reporter Rosie Wen there. We'll check in with her in just a bit. And now let's check in with ABC 13 Shannon Ryan. She's with the Amanda Edwards campaign tonight. And so, Shannon, what can you tell us? Well, Edwards actually just took the podium where she doubled down on what she's been telling us for hours that she is not calling this race until she gets more data. She thanked her supporters. She actually joked that it felt like she thanked everybody in the room, and it certainly did seem like that. She thanked not only supporters, but she thanked donors, those who endorsed her, among them former Congressman Craig Washington. When we did an interview with her earlier today, she lit up when she talked about the congressman's endorsement, the former congressman's endorsement, because he had previously held the seat she had been competing for. Again, she says she is still competing for that seat right now, that she is not conceding, though ABC News has already called the race. Take a listen to what she had to say. We are still in the exact same place in terms of information, which is that no election day results have been released yet. Uh, but as we have been able to enjoy and fellowship and celebrate, I wanted to felt, I wanted to celebrate all of you. So I just wanted to take a moment just to express my gratitude for the hard work that each and every single one of you have invested into this campaign and helping us to get to this point. And of course, I want to. And Edward says as soon as more numbers are in, she will be right back up there at that podium. Until then, we'll be right here. Live in the Fifth Ward, Shannon Ryan, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.